Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on GPT-03. In this video, we are going to explore its key use cases, challenges and future potential. We are going to learn about how GPT-03 enhances chatbots, business automation, education and healthcare, making AI more efficient and accessible. So guys, watch this video till the end if you want to learn more about it. Now before you move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got Applied Generative AI Specialization course. You can learn to develop and deploy generative AI enabled applications in this course. In this course, you are going to attend live masterclasses from Purdue faculty and also you are going to gain exclusive membership in Purdue's Alumni Association. You are also going to build an end-to-end -end RAG based application through hands-on projects. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So let's get started. So guys, what is exactly O3 model? Actually, O3 is an advanced large language model which is developed by OpenAI designed to improve adaptive intelligence. Unlike its previous models, O3 demonstrates high level abstraction and reasoning, which allows it to solve unfamiliar problems effectively. You would be shocked to know that it has achieved an unprecedented 87.5% of the score on the ARC AGI benchmark. It is a benchmark which decides what is the you know, effectiveness of the given model. So compared to 5% for GPT-40, so it has showcased its ability to generalize beyond the training data and that's a huge milestone. So guys, we are going to discuss about O3 model today in our given session. Now, what is the architecture of O3 you would be also wondering because in the previous video, uh, we discussed about like what was the architecture of 4.0 or how 4.0 was working as compared to the other versions. But uh, if we talk about the architecture of O3, okay, then O3 actually is incorporating a fundamentally different approach as compared to the traditional LLMs. So here is a breakdown of its key architectural advancement. You know what guys, the first one is active and adaptive approach. So actually this model is inspired by Alpha's Zero Monte Carlo tree search, MCTS, you know. So O3 actively explores multiple solutions for a given problem before selecting the best response. Unlike its prior model that rely on static and pattern recognition, O3 does what guys that iterates dynamically, refining its output over the time. Then there is a chain of thought. Okay, so if I talk about its previous version of LLMs, which generates answers in single pass, O3 actually applies a step-by-step -step reasoning process. So it uses recursive self-evaluation and it breaks down the problem into logical subcomponents before generating the final answer. Then it has this multimodal fusion. O3 also integrates text, vision, and spatial reasoning, enabling it to identify hidden patterns in the data. This allows O3 to perform context-aware learning, which is crucial for fields like robotics and autonomous systems. If I talk about the next one, this one is a very amazing uh, you know, architecture which has been applied in this model is its memory augmented processing. Unlike its prior models that basically respond based on short term context, O3 is employing long range memory embeddings. This is making it capable of remembering and applying knowledge from various, from its previous interaction, improving continuity and personalization. Then it has self optimizing neural networks. O3 dynamically adjusts its own hypermeter based on task complexity. And this adaptive approach enhances performance on non-standardized problems like ARC AGI. So you would be wondering how O3 is better than GPT-40. Okay, so before moving on to that question, let us understand what these graphs are actually telling us. Now, if you look at this image, guys, this image represents an ARC AGI which means that abstraction and reasoning corpus for artificial general intelligence. So this task is basically given by ARC AGI. Okay, so uh, you would have got a brief idea. So the idea about ARC AGI is that uh, it evaluates an AI's model ability to generalize and adapt to new patterns. Okay, so that's all uh, with respect to ARC AGI. And this structure of the grid-based transformation, which you could see all over here, is uh, actually, you know, exemplifies the O3's advanced architecture in handling adaptive intelligence. Now let us understand this grid guys. Okay, so the grid based format like it, it is involving input output transformation where AI must deduce the underlying pattern and apply it to the unseen test cases. So the example consists of you could see there is an input grid at the left 
a structured arrangement of red and blue squares. And in the output grid, you could see a modified version of the following an implicit rule. A new unseen grid is also there where the AI must predict the output. Now, how O3 architecture handles this problem? So guys, unlike traditional deep learning models that rely on statistical pattern recognition, O3 is leveraging a combination of reasoning strategies. First, it has active and adaptive uh, uh, approach where O3 iteratively explores multiple possible transformation before choosing the best fit rule. It is inspired by AlphaZero's Monte Carlo tree search, okay, which evaluates the probabilistic uh, pathways to select the correct output. Then you could see there is a chain of thought going with the recursive reasoning. These transformations here are abstract and context dependent. O3 applies step-by-step -step logical breakdowns rather than relying purely on uh, you know, memorized output. You could also see uh, a multimodal pattern recognition where the model is detecting grid-based structural changes using advanced spatial reasoning. The horizontal and vertical extension, as you can see in the blue output pattern, suggests an extra uh, pollution mechanism. So, uh, you know, there is a memory augmented learning where unlike previous models like GPT-40, which actually has failed to generalize ARC AGI O3 using long terms embedding. This enables it to learn from similar past transformation rather than you know, starting from the scratch. So this is how the, uh, we have discussed like all these features is basically applied all over here in the O3 model. Now, let us move ahead and discuss about how O3 is actually better than GPT-40. So we will put up a comparison table where we are going to discuss about the feature, the model about GPT-40 and O3. So guys, as you can see from the diagram, we have the features the model of GPT-40 and O3. So guys, you could see all over here, we have GPT-40 model with 5% uh, of AGI score and O3 receiving 87.5% of the score. Then if you talk about the reasoning capability of GPT-40, then it has a static pattern matching, but O3 is actually applying you know, active search and recursion techniques to do the reasoning. Let us judge about on the adaptability. So we know that uh, from here that the GPT-40 has limited to known patterns. So, the, so there's a fixed amount, there's a limitation to it, but you can expect O3 to solve some unseen problems which have uh, never been there in the database. That's an amazing uh, feature. If you talk about multimodal capabilities, then GPT-40 actually can do about text and image, and O3 can tell you about text, image, and logical or spatial reasoning. Uh, if I talk about memory integration, we have short-term context and long-term memory embedding also. And if we talk about processing strategy, it's a single pass inference and uh, it's uh, O3 is going on an iterative self-refinement. So this means that uh, GPT-40 excels in efficiency, but it is basically lacking the adaptive reasoning. Where O3 is more versatile, but it requires a high computational power. So it does an iterative self-refinement. It improves itself continuously. Now, if you talk about the benchmark performance, then on the generalization purposes, it's kind of weak. It's uh, and O3 is, uh, you know, it's near to the human intelligence. Now, if we discuss about challenges and considerations of GPT-O3, the first thing that comes up is scalability and deployment. GPT-40 actually is optimized for mass adoption and can be deployed in real-time systems across industries. o 3 has this computational cost which makes it less accessible for widespread use, restricting its application in commercial settings. If I talk about generalization versus efficiency, uh, GPT-40 actually excels in efficiency, making it uh, ideal for high-speed commercial applications. O3 is kind of more versatile and capable of solving novel problems, but it requires high computational resources. Then, if we talk about the ethical consideration of it, then AI development must prioritize the equitable access to prevent a growing digital divide. That also needs to be considered. So we are looking for sustainable AI models that should focus on energy efficient solutions to reduce the environmental impact. Now let us discuss about the future of GPT-5 versus the O3. So as AI continues to evolve, future models like GPT-5 and O3 will likely address these challenges by combining the speed and efficiency of GPT-03 and the problem solving intelligence and the energy optimized architectures for sustainable AI development. So guys, the battle between generalizable AI and commercially viable AI is still ongoing. And the best model will be the one that balances 
intelligence, efficiency, and accessibility. Now, if I talk about in conclusion, then I could say as per as to our current model, which is GPT-40, and also if we take O3 into consideration, these represent two different evolutionary paths in AI. While GPT-40 dominates in real-time commercial applications, O3 pushes the boundary of adaptive intelligence. Their differences highlight the ongoing trade-offs in AI efficiency, generalization, and accessibility. So guys, that was all for today's video on GPT-03. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.